Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Our Savior's Lutheran Church. My name is Lisa, and I'm here in the Noah's Ark conference room with two of my friends that are on Noah's Ark. Um, today, we are reading a story, and we have been reading stories that go with all the Bible verses and lessons that we've been learning about in church, all the adults in church, you know, have been listening to sermons about the same Bible stories that we've been reading about. And somehow today I ran out of a story. I didn't have a story for this week. Um, and so the story we're gonna read today is just one of my favorites. And I think it is one of the best stories I can tell to children. This one is called, the friend of little children. And you could find a story about this in the gospel books, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Three of the gospels have this story in them, as well as how it's written in this book that I'm reading out of called the Jesus Storybook Bible. So here is our story. Jesus' friends were arguing. Who was the most important helper in God's kingdom? They wanted to know. I am, James said. No, you're not, said Peter. I am. Nonsense, said Matthew. I'm the cleverest. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, yes, no, and two. No, not you. This silliness went on and on like this, for some time. You see, Jesus' friends had started thinking they had to do something to make themselves special to Jesus. That if they were the cleverest or the nicest or the most important, that Jesus would like them best. Here's a picture of the disciples arguing. But they had forgotten something, something God had been teaching his people all through the years, that no matter how clever you are, or how good you are, or how rich you are, or how nice you are, or how important you are, none of it makes any difference. Because God's love is a gift. And as anyone will tell you, the whole thing about a gift is, it's free. All you have to do is reach out your hands and take it. So while Jesus' friends were arguing, some people who knew all about getting gifts, in fact, you might say they were gift experts, had come to see Jesus. Who were they? They were little children. Jesus' helpers tried to send them away. Jesus doesn't have time for you, they said. He's too tired. He's too busy. But they were wrong. Jesus always had time for children. Don't ever send them away, Jesus said. Bring the little ones to me. Now, if you had been there, what do you think? Would you have to line up quietly to see Jesus? Do you think Jesus would have asked you how good you'd been before he would give you a hug? Would you have had to be on your best behavior and get all dressed up and not speak unless you're spoken to? Do you think that those are the ways that you had to behave to see Jesus? Or would you have done just what these children did? Run straight up to Jesus and let him pick you up and swing you around in his arms and kiss you and hug you and then set you down on his lap and listen to stories and chat with you? You see, children loved Jesus and they knew they didn't need to do anything special for Jesus to love them back. 
All they needed to do was to run into his arms. And so that is just what they did. Well, after all the laughing and games, Jesus turned to his helpers and said, no matter how big you grow, never grow up so much that you lose your child's heart, full of trust in God. Be like these children. They are the most important people in my kingdom. Jesus loves children. He loved children when he was alive on the earth, and he still loves them today. All ages, all colors, all kinds, no matter what you do, who you are, what you're good at, or maybe even what you're not good at, Jesus loves you. No questions asked. That's an awesome feeling when you can believe that, boys and girls. Thanks for listening to the story. Stay tuned for some songs. We're going to be singing some of our favorites. Thanks for staying with us for songs. I'm still here in the Noah's Ark conference room. Here's Noah's Ark behind us. And you know where those two little kids are. You can't see them now because they're covered by my music. But we're still here and we're here to do some singing. Today, we're gonna kinda go backwards. We're gonna start with Open the Eyes of My Heart, Lord. And I think that you know this pretty well. Here we go. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Let's do that again. taken right from the Bible verse John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but would have everlasting life so follow along with the words and pictures and we'll see how much you remember from last week it goes like this for God so loved the
long time and I hope you know it pretty well. It goes like this. children go where I send thee. We're going to do the whole thing beginning to end. Hopefully I can keep up with you guys. I've got my cheat sheets here that I can see what I'm supposed to be singing. So stick with me. We'll do it together. We start like this. Children go where I send thee. Who shall I send thee? I'm going to send thee. Thank you. 
Um, thank you, boys and girls. We'll see you next time on Stories and Songs. Bye.